All right, we're on to number 40, which is polygons and quadrilaterals. So we're looking at polygons and quadrilaterals. Um, to find the interior angle sum of a convex octagon. Well, first of all, what is the interior angle sum of any polygon? If you remember, we showed you how you could divide a polygon into triangles. It is n minus 2 times 180. Okay. n is the number of sides that the polygon has. Okay. n minus 2 is the number of triangles you can divide that polygon into. And 180 is the sum per triangle. So basically, you take the number of sides and subtract 2. That tells you how many triangles you can divide the figure into and then multiply each triangle by 180, and that gives you the sum. So for example, an octagon. If I drew an octagon for you, and it doesn't have to be a regular octagon. I'm trying my best here. Most of you envision an octagon as a regular octagon, like a stop sign. If I have eight sides, okay, I drew seven sides. Let's add another side here. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six triangles. If I've got eight sides, I can divide this into six triangles, hence the n minus 2. Eight sides, six triangles. That's the n minus 2. How many degrees angle sum wise does each triangle have? 180. Do you notice how all the triangles hit all the vertices? None of the angles of the triangles are inside the figure. They're all a part of the figure. So that's the 180. So to find the interior angles, uh, find the sum of the interior angle measures of a uh, convex octagon, you, the, in, the formula is n minus 2 times 180. So for the octagon, we have 8 minus 2 times 180, which is 6, because it's 6 triangles times 180. So we have 6 times 180, and I don't want to think it's 1080. So it's 1080 degrees. That's what the interior angles of a, an octagon add to. Okay, so let's look at the next one. 18 gone. Well, again, it's n minus 2 times 180. Okay, so I'm going to do 18 minus 2. I'm going to throw out the formula. Minus 180. If it's got 18 sides, what does that mean? I can divide it into 16 triangles. And 16, that's the n minus 2 portion. That's 2880. So an 18 gun has 2880 degrees in its interior. Okay. And let's do the last one. We have a regular nonagon. And it's just saying regular because regular means all sides are congruent and all angles are congruent. but n minus 2 times 180 works for any polygon, okay? It doesn't have to be regular. Nonagon is 9 sides, so we have 9 minus 2 times 180, which is 7 times 180, and again, I don't want to think my brain tonight, which is 1260. So that's what the nonagon adds up to. Now, that's how you just do your generic angle sums. Now, let's look down here at the next section. It says find the value of x. Well, what do I have here? I've got a pentagon. If you count it, I've got one, two, three, four, five sides. I've got a pentagon. And I need to find one missing angle. Well, to find that one missing angle, I need to know what the total would be and then subtract the other four. So since this is a pentagon, that means 5 minus 2 times 180, which is three triangles times 180, that means this pentagon should add up to 540 degrees total. Okay. Well, I know that I have 112, 98, 130, and 95, and I'm missing that one angle. So what I want to do is I want to subtract all of the angles that I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the 112, the 98, the 130, and the 95, and that gives me 435. So I'm going to subtract the 435 degrees that I get here, okay, from 540, and I end up getting 105. So x is 105 degrees. Again, what I did was I found the total, and I subtracted the ones I already had. Since it's a pentagon, five sides, five minus two times 180, okay? Now let's look at the next one. This is a quadrilateral, okay? This is a quadrilateral. Now, for a quadrilateral, the interior angle sum is four minus two times 180, 
which is 360. So all of these guys have to add up to 360. And so I'm just going to set up an equation. 2x plus 6x plus 2x plus 5x should all equal 360. Again, I did 4 minus 2 times 180 to see the total. So I have 2 plus 6, which is 8, plus 2 is 10. So 15x is equal to 360, and I'm going to divide both sides by 15. And again, I don't want to think tonight. I usually am very good with mental math, but I do not want to think. So 24. So x equals 24. Now since x is 24, how do I find each of these angles? Well, I'm going to plug it in. So let's do r. R is 2x. 2 times 24 is 48 degrees. What's S? S is 6x. 6 times 24, 120, is 144. T is 2x. So once again, we have 48. And V is 5x. So 5 times 24 is 120. If I were to add all these guys up, you'll see that they add up to 360. So we have 200 plus 80, which is 280. Sorry, add that again. We have 200 plus 120, which is 320. Okay, we have 320, which is going to add up to 360. All right, so if you add all these together, they should add up to 360 degrees. Okay. So 144 and 120 is 264, which is 304, 344, and 16 is 360. Okay, so that's how you check your answer. All right, so let's move down to this one. Now we're looking at exterior angles. The exterior angle sum of any polygon is always 360. Exterior, interior is n minus 2 times 180, exterior is uh, 360, always 360. So I know that all of these guys have to add up to 360. All of them have to add up to 360. So I know that 4x plus 3x plus x plus 2x plus 2x has to equal 360. So I have 4 plus 3, which is 7, 8, and 4 is 12, so 12x equals 360. I divide both sides by 12, and x equals 30. Okay? So if x is 30, now it's just asking you to find the value of x here. Okay? So you don't have to solve for the rest of the angles. Once I have the 30, I'm done. Now, if I wanted to find each of these angles, I would just take that 30 and plug them in. This would be 120, this would be 90, that would be 30, that would be 60, and that would be 60. And when you add those together, it would be 360. Okay? So let's look at the last one here. Which statement is not true about a regular hexadecagon? Oh, there's a mouthful. 16 sides. If it's regular, what is a regular polygon? Do you guys remember? All sides are congruent and all angles are congruent, okay? All regular polygons are convex. They have to be. So if they're concave, then it's impossible to have those properties. So number one, A is true. It has 16 congruent sides. That's true. That's what regular means. The sum of the exterior angles is 360. So let's look at the sum of the interior. The interior angles would be 16 minus 2 times 180. Remember, we're looking for the one that's not true. And you get 2520, which is not what they have here. So this is the one that's not true. OK, that's the one that's not true. So that is using, those, that's using your properties of your uh, interior angle sums of your polygons. Now I'm going to actually go through and stop here and I will go to the next section on the next video.